I fell back on your right foot that time. But... And with this hinge when you're learning it, okay, take your stance. You hinge halfway back, mm -hmm. and you're going to want to turn, but your backswing, it doesn't have to go as far back. All right. Because when you hinge, it's going to be, it's going to feel more compact. And when the swing's shorter, it's going to remove the room for air. Because if you take it back long, lazy, without any hinge, you're going to come down, and it's not going to be as consistent. So let's hinge and try to shorten the back swing a little. Hinge was good, but you left your weight on your right side. So let's swing back, hinge it, a little shorter back swing. Come down and really lean that weight to the left side. Let's try it for some shot. Tough concept to guys, but you can pause really at the top for a little bit or whatever feels fun. But you kind of rush the downstream. Just try to make it smooth. Notice up too high. You're, th you're thinking about like where to hinge it. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like you went back like, three yeah, stages. Yeah. Just let it flow. Just hinge, turn. Just take a practice. Yeah, that's good. I'll do one more. Just one more practice. Oh, okay. Just make it one fluid motion. And just brush the grass so you don't topple. Brush it, get the weight to that left foot. Okay, let's try a ball. It's better. Really try to, you can get your weight to your left side, but sometimes your right heel stays in the ground, and that's what's going to cause you to line drive it, weight it, or top it. So I can see that your butt's kind of like moving backwards when you hit it. How is it? You try to keep that center when you're turning. Keep that center point. Move forward. Let your butt kind of slide a little bit to the left. Take a practice. Here. Review what we've learned for the past three weeks, for the three lessons. You've been a good student. Well, thank you. There's Trust me. A lot to deal with with me, I'll tell you. Some beginners aren't <laughs> as good as learners as you. Okay, thanks. Even if you haven't been able to practice too much, you've got enough information where in the future, if you decide to practice more,
that's going to make bad habits permanent. So you want to make the right things. Get those permanent so you become better. So we start off with the grip. Grip in the fingers of the hands. So this V goes to the right shoulder. Nice shoulder width stance. Reflex, bend at the hips. Athletic posture, which you've seemed to have naturally, which is good. And then just a hinge. Don't let the wrist be straight. Hinge the wrists. And then just take it back. Make the back swing a little more compact, so you're going to be a little more consistent. Okay. And then really, you just need to get your weight onto your left side. You don't want to fall back and try to lift it in the front. All right. Just get to the left side. Let's do one more, see if it, we can end on a good one. Okay. You've had coming better. up, I didn't really practice okay, that well, much this week. I really appreciated having you as a student. Thanks, Connor. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. I'll need it. You're welcome. But I appreciate your help.